This video is to help you better understand the chapter one case study that you find on page 40 through 42 in the textbook. The first thing that you have to do is open up access. Remember, in the project, we went ahead and we went to open other files. This time, we are creating a database completely from scratch. So we go to blank database. I'm going to go ahead and choose where I want to save this database. And I'm going to just put it on my desktop. You probably have a folder that you want to keep it in for access. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look ahead on page 40 and 41 and see what they want me to name it. They want me to name it Elite, so I'm just going to say Elite. Click OK and Create. Now, if you notice up top, I've got the database named Elite. If you look, before getting too far into creating the database, look on page 40, figure 1.19. Figure 1.19 talks about Elite Limousine. As you can see by the drawing, they have four tables. What's highlighted in bold is the name of the tables. Limousines, drivers, bookings, and customers. Inside of the tables, you will see the fields that they want created. What you're seeing with the drawing lines, that's where the tables are related. Chapter two, we talk about more about relating tables and fields in a database, and that's really the guts of what makes a database so powerful. However, we're not there yet. So, for right now, don't worry about those lines or where the tables are or the fields that relate each table. So if I look on part one, it says create a new database named AL1-C1-Elite and then create a limousines table shown in the database diagram, which we just looked at. The database designer has asked you to include the appropriate caption and description for each field and to change the field size size for the limo ID field. Now it doesn't tell you what the field size is, but by looking at the limo ID field, they're all two digits. So I will change it to two. Before getting started with um, creating the table, when I switch to design view, it's going to tell me to name the table. The first table is named limousine. L-I-M-O-U-S-I-N-E-S, -E limousines. Now, if you notice, ID is not a field name. It's called limo ID. Okay, with limo ID, I don't want it auto numbered because auto numbered, um, if you notice, there's no three, there's no five. It's not auto numbered. We're just going to do short text and I'm going to change it, the field size, to two. Okay, the next field um, for limousines is description. The description of the limousine. Now that I'm just going to leave it at short text which is 255 characters which is fine. That's enough for me to write 2011 white stretch or 2012 black minibus etc. I'm going to switch back to data sheet view. It's going to tell me to save my table. Now I can go ahead and type in the first one 01 tab 2011 white stretch. Press enter, go to the next one is 02 tab 2011 black stretch. Now I'm not going to go and fill in all of this information, but I do want to show you because something I missed in design view. If you noticed, it says to create a description of your choice. It says optional. I'm not going to make you guys add the description. It's not a bad idea to do one or two so you know how, because on the access test in the hands-on, maybe it would have you do it. I am not requiring that. You've all heard me say it on this. If somebody doesn't watch the video and they type it in, that'll teach them to watch my videos. Save them a little bit of time. Okay, I am going to close this table. And now we've got our limousine table. And again, all I do is go to create table. I always switch um, to design view to design it. It's going to tell me to name it. My next table is drivers. I'm not going to add all these fields for you, but I'm just going to show you. Now the drivers, again, it's got driver, driver ID is my field. Um, I do not want it auto numbered. Short text and looking at the driver ID, they're all three digits. I'm going to change that from 255 to three. The next is last name. I'm just going to leave it as short text. There's really nothing um, that's 
much different in here. All of them can be short text. If you wanted your zip to be just numbers, you could. Sometimes though, if it's a five digit zip and then a dash and then four digit and you had it at only numbers, um, you'd have issues. So that's why a lot of times I just leave it as short text. So when you're done, I'm gonna go ahead and save this. When you're done, you will have an elite database with four tables. Each of the tables will have the information in it um, that is in the book on page 41 and 42. And you will upload Elite to the case study for Chapter 1. I hope this makes sense. Again, if it doesn't, don't hesitate to ask. Have a good night.